Take 15. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to do videos. So my students have been asking me to do videos. So here we go. This one is on color theory and just a little hint to get you guys interested in coming to my color theory class, which is June 16th from 10 to four, $100, very reasonable. Um, very well worth it because these things that I'm gonna teach you during this class are one, some of the most important things that you can put into your artwork. They take your work from beginner level up to um, intermediate at least, if not advanced. So, um, so if you're intermediate, you're gonna go way up. So anyway, it'll raise your bar. It'll make your work far better. So, um, so what I'm gonna talk about right now is the temperature of light. So when you have a warm light source, which would be from fire or the sun, or a yellow light source, which would be a light bulb that puts off yellow light. Um, when you have that type of light, then you're going to have warm light and cool shadows. So all of this area would you would see the influence of yellow and this influence of blues and greens and purples. But right now I have a cool light source. And when do you get cool light source, do you ask? You get cool light source when you get ambient light. Ambient light comes from a window. It's got indirect light from a window at least. Um, it comes from an overcast day. You can even get a light bulb that has the blue that it gives off much stronger than the yellows. There are cool light sources. Um, and when you have cool light, you will have warm shadows. That's why when you look at my skin right now, in the light, in this color of skin over here that's being influenced by that window, that color has a lot of blue in it. This color in this side of my face is now all warms. It's got lots of reds and oranges. And because my shadows are cool my light source is warm so I mean I did that backwards didn't I yep I do that <laughs> sorry <laughs> my light source is cool my shadows will be warm so um <laughs> so anyway with what you also have to remember is that your darkest dark within your lit side has to remain lighter than anything within your shadow. So your darkest dark within your lit side has to remain lighter than the, your lightest light within your dark side. So that means your shadows need to hold together. They need to feel like they are um, all part of each other. Um, when I turn my head a little bit, you might see a little bit of light escaping over in. You'll, you can actually see light coming in on this side a little bit more. Um, and that is considered part of the light. So that will have the same values as this. But you see in here and in here, we have these warm light sources and those are all shadows. So that area can be darker than anything within your light. So you need to separate your lights from your darks and if you don't well your work just won't hold together <laughs> so be sure to do it okay and join me on the 16th of June I'd love to have you in my class and it's from 10 to 4 and $100 so please do sign up thank you